Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. How can we get blessings in our spendings? And how can we receive uh, the full benefit of our salaries and the, our earnings? And first and foremost, one of the ways in which we can do that and gain this type of success is by having lawful earnings. And there are so many countless stories of people, for example, making uh, $10,000. Or look at how many people who are, uh, who are wealthy but unhappy. There's no blessings in their wealth, especially those people who earned it from unlawful earnings. Then there's the other example of someone who earns very little. Maybe they earn a couple hundred dollars a month in the, in, in the, in the context of American society. Something very simple, uh, just what's sufficient for their family. But that money goes a long way because there's blessings in it, because it's a lawful uh, earnings. And lawful earnings uh, illustrates for us that, and it's in fact the antith antithesis of materialism. Because when we strive to attain the material gain in this life, and that we make that our only goal, then usually we're chasara. Then usually we are unsuccessful. And we don't achieve. We don't achieve the materialism that we wanted to achieve. We don't get all the cars we want or the nicest car that we wanted. We don't have, all we receive is a lot of debt and sorrow and hardship and interest payments and payments on our loans and our mortgage and mortgaging our homes and, and what have you. Because we only strove for this life. But the person who lives very simple, maybe they only have an apartment. Maybe they don't even own a car, but there's blessings in their earnings because they keep it simple. And they have happiness and contentness. How many people have uh, a, an almost an endless uh, amount of wealth, but they died unhappy and they took their own life, they killed themselves. So, as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, That the Prophet وسلم, said, Verily, the lawful things are clear, and the unlawful things are clear. And between them are things that are doubtful matters. So this is a lesson for us to stay away from the doubtful matters. The Prophet ﷺ said, That this life is a prison for the believer, and it is the uh, paradise for the disbeliever. So if you were to strive, if a person is, uh, strives for only pleasure in their desires in this life, usually they won't find it. No matter how much, if you ask those people who have the inside story of the life in the entertainment world, for example, you'll find most of the people are unhappy. No matter how many cars they have, no matter how much wealth they have, no matter how famous they are, no matter if they have the biggest mansion in Beverly Hills, they're unhappy. They're not finding what they are craving in this life. But you'll find that the simplest Muslim, the person who has very little, but yet they have iman, they have faith in their heart, is very happy and content with that. I've known many people that are physically, they don't have much. And, material, uh, and materialistically, they don't have much. They have maybe one garment, but their heart is full of light from reading the Quran and memorizing it. I've, I've seen this with my own eyes in places like Yemen especially that the people, and in Ethiopia as well, people very humble, that have not much, but yet they're happy in their life, they're content. They don't own an automobile, they don't have much money, they have the food that is sufficient for them and their family, but they're content. And how many people have we seen who've jumped out of buildings, who've hung themselves, who've slit their wrists, who've overdosed on drugs, and they had the whole world before them as far as materialist, uh, materialism. They had many countless pa plastic surgeries and on um, every aspect of their body to where they, it's almost, they're more plastic than they are human. What did they attain? So ask yourself and look at that scale and ask yourself, do you have blessings in your money? Are you content with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you? And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those people who are content and bless us to be of those people whose heart is filled with joy and love and happiness in worshiping Him. In him alone, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.